Hello, it's Saturday, April 2nd, and I want to thank you all very, very much for your support. Yesterday, Bandcamp Friday was the best I've had yet, and um, thank you so very much. Um, I... Uh, I'm glad. It sounds like you not only are people buying, did people buy the new record, Personal Power, but you're actually listening. It really is quite good. And um, like I said, I have a whole album. Actually, I've got a couple albums that are that ready. Excuse me. Excuse me so much. So... I'm a bit on cloud nine about it, actually. Um, 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 thank you, the person who bought my entire catalog, because that's an option you can do on Bandcamp. And a few folks have done it, and someone did it yesterday. And um, that was wonderful, really made a big difference. But numbers-wise, um, I don't know how many I sold, but... On the stats page for Nebraska, I, can, I am currently the number two best-selling artist from Nebraska on Bandcamp as a result of Bandcamp Friday. Now that stat will probably change by the end of the day or tomorrow, I'll probably be number three, four, or five, because it's real time regarding sales and stuff. But that's right behind David Nance. David Nance is the number one seller, and Simon Joyner, both friends of mine are his number three. So I, I made a post about that on Instagram as well as Facebook. Check it out. Um, along those lines, David Nance's band is playing this month. And my first gig of the year is on the 21st. We're going to be opening up for Fuzz. Ty Siegel. Is that how you say his last name? Ty Siegel's band Fuzz. We're going to be opening for them at Slowdown at the 21st. I'm looking forward to that. So it's a very good day. Thank you very much. And if you see this, Michael Dawson, that's a bummer. No sales. But I read an article or saw some information recently about um, not just Bandcamp, but um, music these days and the Internet. And the statistic that was quoted was that on average, 60,000 titles of music get uploaded every day. I think this is just a band camp. Mm, I think. And the other statistic is that 20% of that stuff never gets played even once. So I'm feeling extremely blessed that I'm being listened to, being supported, and people are buying my stuff. Thank you all so much. <sighs> I got some other irons in the fire, and we'll talk about them as they develop. I left I left these out because I said, well, let me not put things away. Let me leave something to tell people what I listened to. Um, yesterday seems, um, yeah. So the music I listened to yesterday was purposeful. It's like I, need, I wanted to absorb something. And so I played this all the way through. Scott Walker and Son soused. So as you know, uh, towards the end of his life, Scott Walker's records were very avant-garde is the word, really. Almost impenetrable, what, he, what is he singing about? And it's starting to come through. The thing I noticed about this last night was, was that it is an honest attempt by both artists to meet each other. Scott is singing his ass off on this album. He's singing like it's he's singing like he's at the top of a, a, a mountain and he wants to make sure that everyone can hear and he's got the voice to do it 
and then Sun with their Sonics and they do things not just with the guitars but other things sonically are trying to match him trying to meet him and they almost get there um, the lyrics don't make sense but how he uses words makes more sense to me on, on this this was quite a journey it's not an easy listen but if you let go of wanting something from it and let it do what it does it's like holy shit Scott Walker had an amazing voice huge voice Marion Seagal and with Silver Jade an English folk rock band from the 70s and not exactly sure how I ended up with this but it's it's a keeper I personally feel and relate to this sound in this time I love this stuff it's a very good album she has a wonderful voice completely opposite direction but really enjoyed this yesterday too I hadn't played it for a while um, mythos German band dream lab this is their second album this is an original copy of it this is Kraut Rock Deluxe Cosmic Rock. It really is. It's just really cool. And it also sounds like that time period. It doesn't sound so much dated, but kind of like that it captures this moment in time. The German rock scene that I became aware of in the early 70s was potent like punk rock it was a thing cosmic music and kraut rock all that it was a it was a, it was a thing I also have this album by the band mythos strange guys when they were going more commercial but excuse me despite the commercial moves of this album this is still pretty good and fairly spacey for the most part mythos strange guys okay I don't often listen to Wim Mertens I have to be in the mood and so I played this and most of this worked for me yesterday whisper me it's somewhere between um, uh, it's almost like modern uh, there's a classical aspect to the way that he writes and um, on here there's one piece I forget which one it was because I had to skip it where it's like a lament it's just very like much a, a dirge you know it's like oh I'm not in the mood for this this is because it's so good it's so powerfully what it is um, I see I got this from a radio station it's written all over the back but I hadn't listened to Wim Mertens in a long time and this is some beautiful music and it's on Wyndham Hill it, it, it fit their aesthetic it did another long album I hadn't played forever and this is just wonderful Sargasso Sea John Abercrombie with Ralph Towner guitar duets it's all you need to know it's, been, it's just beautiful simplest simplistic beautiful this was cool yesterday um, because I do I'll do pulls just to play random because it's like I got to do that because I'll look at some spines and I won't play them but I won't get rid of them look what I random pulled yesterday been talking about and been working was just talking to Dave yesterday Dave Newhouse of the muffins and I played side two the Ad the adventures of Captain Boomerang uh, this is wonderful stuff and it absolutely is what I've been saying it's that type of music it has the Canterbury um, wheelhouse in that it's melodic playful inventive keeps moving and there's a sensibility to it it's like this band and this sound kind of like Henry Cow it has an identity 
Yeah. Um, I know that these people are just people, but it still blows me away that Dave Newhouse, Paul Sears, and, and these guys, particularly Dave Newhouse, is a friend of mine, and that I'm working with him. That means that's just so cool. I, I, I love it. Got into this yesterday. Um, Angelique Kijo, Remain in Light, doing her version of the Talking Heads album. This is just fantastic. I like it better than the Talking Heads version. Roger Simonson gave me this purple vinyl copy of it. And I like Remain in Light. And when it came out, I liked it. And I have Remain in Light. And I've seen Talking Heads. And I've met Tina Weymouth. When I uh, had the opportunity to meet David Byrne, I didn't know what to say to him. And uh, I'm perceptive, you know. He has Asperger's. It's like, um, I didn't know what to say to him, so I left him alone and talked to Tina. But this Angelique Kijo, fantastic album, Remain in Light. I think she um, takes what um, Talking Heads did and improved it. Personally, I really do. I started listening to, to one of these cassettes that was sent to me with the God's Punk volume 23. This is sound work, and um, I lapsed into it for about five, six minutes and enjoyed it. Sounds like it's loops that are, are um, things that are looping and gradually changing and blending. That was enjoyable. I played this because there's been some recent Goblin records that have come out that I passed on because they were pricey, but they but they, they showed up in the stores in Omaha, which was cool. So I thought, let me play some Goblin. I haven't played them for a while. So Amo no Namo. I love you, I love you not. Soundtrack. Um, some of the music gets a little into the area of almost cheesy um, jazz, jazz rock. But mostly it's pretty good, and um, good writers and players. They're good players, but the writing of the th of the themes, the stuff that they play, good stuff. It's good music. So that's what's sitting out from yesterday. I also want to thank my family. That just, I'm so, I feel so blessed. Um, my sisters and my uh, uh, one of my great nephews bought copies of the new, of my new record, and they, and I, I know I've told them. I know I told my sisters, you don't have to buy any of my music. You know, you can have it. That means so much to me. Their support <coughs> and the fact that they like it. My younger sister, Adrian, in particular, she's a big music lover, but heavily into black music. You know, have, just period black. Okay, and so it's taken her a long time to pay attention to what I do and for it to come into focus for her. She understands her brother Derek now, my sound, and um, and my great nephew, Asio, who also makes music. He sent me a um, message yesterday on Instagram. Really touched me, you know. Means a lot to me. It really does. Um, I'm about to get out of here. Um, I may go to a show tonight. Jim Schroeder and um, Megan Seibe uh, from Cursive are having a show tonight, record release show for May, uh, Mesa Bowie by Jim. And it's not at a uh, club. It's at a uh, community center. I like this about David Nance where he's really trying to not just do the typical He's interested in real experience, um, and so he's not all interested in playing in clubs and, and the usual circuit. I like that about him. He wants a real experience. He wants it to be real. Excuse me. So I'm thinking of going to this this um, event tonight because they don't have music concerts at this church. It's at a church community center down in a part of town that where people hardly go. So this is interesting. I'll probably go. 
How is your weekend looking? I hope it's looking good. I can barely handle the news. I check it. It's just, to me, very, very insane. Very insane. This whole idea of war. Just, I don't get it at all. I don't understand. I don't understand why we can't get it together as, as a species. I don't. So, that's all I got for you this morning. 